Hello scientists, I'm really happy to see you guys again. I will show you how to convert an amino acid sequence into a protein 3D model. There's a very cool online app called Fiber 2. And I'm not sponsored by this app. It's just simply that one of you guys asked me how to do this conversion. This video is an edited version of my live stream. So if you want to see the latest topics, come to my live stream on Wednesdays. Without further ado, let's start to make some 3D models. So this is is the the platform that we're going to use it's called fire square it was developed by the imperial college of london if you have an amino acid sequence i will use albumin as an example this is the amino sequence of the albumin i'll just copy it and just paste it here in the amino acid sequence box and type in your email address and you can add in the job description that will be the title of the email that you get Oh, you also need to choose if you're for profit or not for profit. Fire research. This is the job status page. It will take more than four hours to find the protein model sequence. After it's finished, they will send you an email like this. And then if you scroll down, you will find this file called the PDP file with the project name that you put in. And we need to find an app to open the PDP file. That's open chimera this is also a free software that you can download from university of san francisco with chimera you can open pdp file pdp stands for protein data bank okay now we go to file and open here albumin sequence test let's open it Ta -da! then you get your protein 3d model that is generated from your amino acid sequence okay and what if you want to color your protein model usually i would not color in here color red or you can change it to red what else cyan atoms bonds let's see oh you can also show atoms and bombs and uh, what else balls and sticks look and how do i hide them then you can also hide them again. If I want to further color it, for example, I only want to color some parts, I will put it in Blender to work on the models. Export scene. And make sure you choose the file type X3D. Let's name it Protein for Blender. Now we can import it into Blender. Blender is an open source 3D software. It is really good. So go to File, Import and choose x3d extensible 3d file choose your x3d file import it then you, ha you will have the model in blender look and you can change the color of specific part of the protein for example here if i want to change the material color i can do that see now some of them are yellow isn't this app really cool? You guys can try it out with your own amino sequence and see how the result will look like. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments or come to my live stream on Wednesday and we can chat about them together. I'm really happy to see you guys here. I make sure you follow my social media and thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.